What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm Warren Thompson and it looks like Disney and Marvel Studios could be shaking things up a little bit. A couple of days ago, Disney did a quarter three of 2023 earnings presentation and they listed all of their projects coming out until 2024 and some Marvel Studios projects were not on there implying that they could unfortunately be delayed. And if this is true, we have heard a little bit of news on why exactly that could be. Now, of course, right now we have things going on like the strikes, but that is not what we are specifically talking about. We have heard recently from an insider that one Disney Plus project might not be so good. Plus, at the same time, we are now hearing from a pretty big outlet, The Hollywood Reporter, that Disney might actually be setting up to sell to Apple. We've talked about this a few times in the past and a lot of people thought, well, yes, it is an option, but it probably isn't a possibility. Bob Iger probably won't want to sell Disney and Apple probably won't want to buy Disney because they have stated before they wouldn't want to buy a film studio. However, as this article by The Hollywood Reporter states, yes, it's true, Apple would not want to buy a studio, but they would want to buy this studio. Disney isn't just another studio. They are a powerhouse. They are the leader. They have so many different properties. They have Marvel Studios, they have Lucasfilm, Pixar, and so many other projects that are of great value. And one could see how Apple would want to buy that, especially since they have their Apple TV now. But don't worry, we'll break down the article and what you need to know in this video. And if you're new, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest news. And if you subscribe and leave a comment below, you're automatically entered in our giveaway for a chance to win an Xbox Series X, a PS5, some Marvel Legends items, or some DC items. Winner gets to pick one item and we pick a winner at the end of each month. So first things first, let's talk about a possible change in the Marvel Phase 5 slate. It looks like as a couple of days ago, Marvel has delayed a couple of projects. Like I mentioned, Disney released their quarter three report and on this, and I'll put the link down below so everybody can see it, but on this report, there's a slide that says upcoming theatrical releases, key upcoming Disney Plus and Hulu releases where it lists everything that is coming out on the upcoming theatrical releases, it goes all the way up till June 14th of 2024. And the only Marvel project we have listed on there is the Marvel scheduled for November 10th of 2023. That means Deadpool 3 could be delayed because Deadpool 3 is supposed to come out May 3rd of 2024. That is the current release date set. However, it's not found on here. They have Snow White coming out March 22nd. Then they have Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, which is 20th century, which they own, coming out May 24th of 2024. And then Inside Out 2 coming out June 14th. No sign of Deadpool 3, implying that it possibly got delayed. Now, this is one project that has been affected by the strikes, the writer strike, the actor strike. And we have heard reports in the past that if they didn't get this resolved soon and the strikes continued for a little bit more than a month, then Deadpool 3 would have to eventually get delayed. And it looks like that could possibly be what is happening here as Marvel and Disney have not listed it. So that's a bummer. However, this only lists up until June 14th of 2024. And let's say the strikes go on for a little bit longer, maybe a couple of months. Well, hopefully that would mean Deadpool would only be delayed for a couple of more months. That means it could come out in July or August, sometime not far after the release date of May. And Bob Iger of Disney has recently expressed that he wants to come to a deal as soon as possible. And the studios and the guilds are about to meet again. The organizations are all getting together and going to try to get a deal. They've been unsuccessful the past few times, but right now you know the studios want to get things moving again because a lot of delays are happening and this is a key delay right here, Deadpool 3. Now, of course, it does say subject to change. And even for the key upcoming Disney Plus and Hulu releases slide, it does say list is not exhaustive, subject to change. Basically, what this means is they are kind of doing this as a precaution. They are expecting Deadpool 3 to be delayed because of the strikes. But let's say if they were to end the strikes next week and they got everything back with production and they finished filming and everything they needed, then they could stick to that original release date of May 3rd. But like I mentioned, there is another Marvel project that is suffering, and that is the Echo series. On the key upcoming Disney Plus and Hulu releases, we don't see Echo on there anywhere. We do see Loki season two. It's listed on there, of course, under Marvel, 
Disney Plus, and a scripted series. Unfortunately, Echo is nowhere to be found. And the reason for this delay could be very different. Recently, yesterday actually, the insider account Viewer Anon stated this. In response to a question, is it that bad, referring to Echo, Viewer Anon tweeted, I hope it's not, but all the rumors about what rough shape Secret Invasion was in turned out to be true, and everyone's consistently said Echo is much worse off. Now, we have actually heard some decent things about the Echo series. However, it isn't exactly the best sign that Marvel Studios has decided to release all of the episodes of Echo at once, binge style. They're not releasing them per week. On the release date, every single episode is getting released, and that could be a bad sign. So that could actually be why Echo is getting delayed. Possibly they are going to make some changes. We even heard a rumor before that Marvel Studios was possibly thinking of scrapping the whole thing altogether which again is not a very good sign but since we have heard some good things from some good insiders let's hope that it is actually going to be a good series but as of right now it is not listed on the Disney release schedule so this is probably going to be delayed and hopefully if it is delayed for these reasons they will do something to try to make it better and hopefully the strikes end soon because that's just going to keep pushing everything back so if they continue we could get more Marvel delays. It looks like Deadpool has already suffered, Echo has suffered. Luckily for us, the Marvels and Loki season two are still on track because they have already been completed, but everything else coming up in phase five or phase six is in pre-production or production right now, and that has to be put to a halt. So hopefully the strikes get done pretty soon so we don't have another delay and a whole entire slate shift. Now, of course, like I mentioned, some other huge changes could possibly happen if Disney sold to Apple. The Hollywood Reporter is reporting that this could very well happen. The title and the headline for their article that they put out a couple of days ago on the 9th reads, a Disney sale to Apple question mark. Don't count it out this time. And they actually think that Bob Iger is starting to prep for a sale. The article states a few weeks before Bob Iger sat down for that CNBC interview in which he said Disney's linear TV networks like ABC and FX may not be the core to the company's business, a veteran Hollywood executive mused to the Hollywood Reporter on the possibility of a deal that would rock the industry. Apple buying Disney. It's an idea that keeps being discussed, even though many top executives have scoffed at it and many still do. Apple doesn't want to buy a studio, they say, and there's no way the feds would allow a huge deal like that to go through. However, the observer wasn't so quick to rule it out, stating, I don't think Apple would buy the company as it presently exists, he said. But if you see Bob start to divest things, that feels like he's prepping for a sale. And there's clearly no buyer like Apple. And that's exactly what Bob Iger started to do. He started to say that they might start selling parts of Disney to other studios. So it seems like he has begun slimming down Disney. And this insider states that that could be a possible sign that he is prepping to sell the company to Apple. They also do state that while it may be very true that Apple doesn't want to buy a studio, maybe it would want to buy this studio, the one that despite the challenges of the moment, is a vault full of priceless IP and remains the most valuable brand in entertainment. Plus, not to mention, Disney and Apple do have a relationship with each other. It's kind of a special relationship, as The Hollywood Reporter states. They state, Steve Jobs, founder and creator of Apple, of course, served on Disney's board of directors from 2006 until his death in 2011. And then Bob Iger joined Apple's board shortly after Steve Jobs died. But he ended up resigning from that position on September 10, 2019, which was coincidentally the same day that Apple officially announced that they were going to get into the content business through Apple TV. So the current head of Apple, Bob Iger, used to be a part of Apple's board of directors. That's a huge relationship there. Steve Jobs was also on the board for Disney. Another huge relationship, and it does actually seem like Bob Iger could be slimming down Disney right now. And according to these insiders and The Hollywood Reporter, that could mean Disney is prepping for a sale. Obviously, if this happens, it will shake up the entire industry and, of course, would result in Apple owning Marvel Studios. And that alone could be a huge, drastic change. Apple could clear house and decide to fire everybody that is currently at Marvel Studios. That could include Kevin Feige. Obviously, we don't know what would happen, and this is simply a possibility, not a reality at this point in time. But go ahead and let us know your thoughts about this down below. Do you think it would be a good thing or a really bad thing if 
Disney sold to Apple and Apple owned Marvel Studios. Let us know your thoughts about that in the comments down below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the latest news. You can also follow us on Instagram and Twitter as well. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.